that, so we can't be sent to any other job. On our way there. Which is a ridiculous amount too. But actually, we waited over an hour to get a Chinese meal. I'm tired, Dino. 15 minutes. I hope you're all hungry. Nina's rejoined the police as the UK's 43 forces are going through their biggest period of change since the 1960s. Across Britain, crime and the fear it creates seems permanently fixed at the top of the political agenda. But when working nights, our undercover reporter found fighting crime seemed to be the last thing on the minds of officers. Yeah, it'll be my, my choice. Yeah. <coughs> what a shame. And yours. Most night shifts, my shift, the guys tend to be playing poker or watching a DVD. This infuriates me because that's not how it should be. It's okay for firemen to sit in and play cards or play volleyball or even go to bed. They're reactive. They don't stop a fire by driving round. Police aren't reactive, we are proactive. By sitting in the police station, we're giving the criminals the green light. This wasn't a one-off, this was every single night shift, and it's just absolutely disgraceful. But cards wasn't the only game keeping officers from their work. This here is the custody suite. The custody suite is the area where prisoners go once they've been arrested or detained. And in here you have civilian officers i.e. people who aren't police officers, working alongside police officers, a custody sergeant. You'll be hit back. Willow on the leather and the willow and all that. No, willow on the leather. Willow on the leather. They've decided to play cricket along the corridor, which is all well and good if there's no prisoners there, if you've got nothing to do. But unfortunately here, I was actually waiting with a prisoner to bring them into the custody area. And rather than just stop their cricket and say, OK, Nina's here with a prisoner, they continued to play cricket and I was left to wait. Time wasting at night was habitual. What follows was recorded on just one night. Play. About 11 o'clock, I got a radio message from one of the police officers saying, we're going to now start and play hide and seek. The game can't start till 12.30. Apparently that's the rules, that's the law. Uh, OK, uh, I missed that one at uh, police college. You have to wait till at least after half past 12. Um, because, you know, we can't let members of the public see that we're pissing about in police cars and, and not doing anything. So later on, there was three cars who played hide and seek. I was in one of the cars. I haven't played hide and seek in a police car before. And they were telling me that this is how we did it. We had certain rules, that you had 15 minutes to hide which people had to try and find you and you had to stay still at all times and then every 15 minutes you'd be get given another clue. This can go on for several hours. There they are. Get them. Oh, it's oh no! What? You blew it! That moment of blinding I them. I ah, pressed the wrong button. I'm all fingers and thumbs. <laughs> the game was finally broken up by an emergency call. Seven hours into the same shift, and all officers are confined to the station. It's half past five in the morning. The radio has went down at five o'clock, so... Nobody's allowed out until the radios are back on. 
lads are playing poker again. Been playing for about an hour. A few more now joining. So at the moment, it's the ideal time to do a crime. You have a clique, which tend to be, I think, the police officers, the boys who join the police force because if they think it makes them macho. And they're the ones who tend to be in the clique who say, well, we can sit and play cards. There's a definite diversion uh, within the shift because you, you have got your officers who are the hard workers and everybody knows that they're the harder working officers. They're the ones who turn out to the jobs. They're the ones who respond first to the incidents that come out on the radio. And it does cause real problems. There's a friction between the people on the shift. As the night comes to a close, that friction becomes clear. Just annoys me that there's no effort made by anyone to help out. To help out, they'll be still, they'll be off at seven, bang on. Yeah. Having spent the last three hours playing cards. Yeah. Whereas I've spent the last three hours or two hours doing a file, file. then turned out to a job when they asked us to. And then, because they've got your number for going to a job, you, you get sent to some shit. Playing cards and other games in the station, rather than patrolling the streets, may not be the most serious offence. But some of what Nina witnessed has a much more direct and serious impact on the public. Police use a chemical spray called Captor as a first line of defence against violent prisoners. Sprayed in the face, it incapacitates an attacker by causing their skin to burn and forcing their eyes to close. It's extremely painful. For this reason, officers should have a canister of an antidote called Difoterine. At a briefing by this senior officer, Nina and her shift learn how the expensive but vital antidote is to be conserved. The difotrine stuff for the captor, can the van drivers make sure each of the vans has got some? I don't know where you get it from, that's your mission should you choose to accept it. And if you don't choose to accept it, you're still going to find it. Come because me, the, the chances are the van is going to be at the incident where somebody's been captured. That is for the use of officers. If it's prisoners that get captured, they can be sorted when they're in a custody suite. We're not messing about with them. I want it for officers. I'm thinking of your welfare and safety, and so that's what I want that used for. All right? It shouldn't be used for them, anyway. Well, from the training they said it's used for officers because it costs 50 quid a shot. Business can bollocks. Well, <laughs> I think that, you know, if that went out in the public domain, I think they might issue for that. But... On another occasion, Nina was shocked by what happened when two officers near the end of their shift were asked to come to the aid of a woman being roughed up in the street by a man. Go back in. Yeah. 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 Are we going? Do you have a pay shift there? Come on in. Let's have a car. 